the labor is low, right? Provided the quantity. Sir. Provided the quantity in bulk, right? Yeah. What else? So what happened uh, when uh, Walmart started to you know capture the whole market? What happened to the local retailers there? Though Walmart was a local retailer, but uh, retailer, but it became a global re retailer eventually, right? So what happened to the small retailers? They were adversely affected. Affected, right? Yeah. Because they were not uh, able to operate on the economics of scale of what Walmart was going on, right? So. Now I will uh, put you a question, Walmart is coming into India, it has started test marketing. Do you know the term test marketing? Yes. What is test marketing? Sampling product. Sampling product. Sampling product. Sampling product. It's a kind of a research. Kind of a research? What else? So kind of a research. That product has a benefit or not for demand or not. Okay. Trying to take the feedback of the customer, right? Yes. By uh, sir, giving, giving them a sample or a prototype of your sample yes. or a prototype of your product, right? What is a prototype? I told you there are three types of prototypes. Yes. One which is actually your product, one which is smaller than your product but has the like uh, it has been a smaller version, smaller version right? And one is uh, which is a larger version. For example, if you say you know, the product is very small like a diamond or a gold. So, like if you want to study it or analyze it, so you have to have a bigger product of that, right, to analyze it. Because studying a diamond, it requires skills, right, it requires uh, expertise, isn't it? Yeah. So, Walmart, what they did, they did, they did test market in Chandigarh, right, they started with uh, uh, a shop, uh, the, uh, the term for that is, uh, uh, there is a small, uh, we have that uh, uh, drive and uh, drive in by something like that. Cash and cash carry. Cash and, 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 cash and uh, carry. Cash and carry, right. right. So the, they have started with cash and carry wherein they have, uh, they are giving the samples, uh, free samples to the customers, right. And then they are taking the feedback by filling in uh, questionnaires from them. The feed, they are uh, taking the feedback whether the product is good for them or not, right. Whether the quality is good, whether the price, they have liked it or not, right. So this is how Walmart has entered India, right? So what is your take on that? How do you, what do you feel that is uh, is Walmart coming into India a good thing for the Indian retailers? No. For the Indian business environment as a whole? No. So. No. So. No. so. But for us, from the point of view of consumers, it is a good thing. From the point of view of consumer. Yeah. Point of view of business environment. So it's good for, according to the consumers, right? Yes, sir. Why? Because they get variety. Cheaper, 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 लोगों को पता है कि कॉस्ट्यूम होना कि वो क्वालिटी है अच्छी है या नहीं है अगर हम डीमार्ट से लेते हैं या किसी और रिटेलर शॉप से लेते हैं भी उनको पता चल जाता है ना कि राइस की क्वालिटी अच्छी है या नहीं जिस रेट पे हमने खरीदा है उस उतनी क्वालिटी हमें मिल रही है कि नहीं अगर हम लोग बॉर्डर से शॉपिंग करते हैं इफ वी आर सेटिस्फाइड अगर हम कह रहे हैं कि कंज्यूमर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से वो गुड है ऑब्वियसली क्वालिटी गुड भी अच्छी है सो बट व्हाट माय फ्रेंड सेज इज आफ्टर शी बाइज लाइक पोस्ट द परचेस but the point is that what about the pre? I mean, when I am going the first time, uh, if I am the consumer of Walmart, so they have, there can be a question mark in my mind whether if these people are giving it for so much of discount or for so much of a lesser price, then not necessarily that the quality of that product is good. But the thing that I go and buy from there is it's a Walmart thing. So there is an assurity that it's such a big brand, it's such a big retail thing. So chances are. More or less, that out of 100, if I uh, say 90 to 95 percent, chances are that I will be getting a good quality because of the uh, brand. So, what she says is like uh, the term Walmart itself signifies the brand, right? And uh, Walmart is attached to cheaper, uh, cheaper price but good quality. 
right? Because it is a brand coming up, up from US, right? And uh, in India, we have general tendency the brand which is coming up from US or European country should be good, of good quality, right? Isn't it? Yes. We don't like to wear made in India. We like to wear made in US, made in Japan, right? Yes. China. Okay. China. China. Not made in China. <laughs> Not made in China, but we use Nokia mobile address, which is made in China. Now made in Chennai, right? Yeah. So what are the formats of retail stores in India? Okay, let's let's let's, uh, let's see what is the uh, consequence of Walmart coming for business environment. There will be a lot of fluctuations. Fluctuation hasn't? It was uh, given the fluctuation. Fluctuation in what? Fluctuation of course of the quality that they are giving. The kind of uh, the way they are doing their business. Mm -hmm. So accordingly, naturally, business uh, will be losing jobs. Yes, sir. Yes. Unemployment. Right? Unemployment. Unemployment. But sir. They will also be they will also be promising that they will be giving jobs to the local people. Exactly. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. So on the other hand. So will new jobs. Limited. 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 Because retailers more. So more number of retailers. More number of retailers. industry will be uh, getting to know something new, yes, sir. something innovative, right? Our industry like the Reliance or Big Bazaar or the Future Group will be learning something new from Walmart. Yes. yes sir. What is their inventory system, inventory management system, right? Something new will be coming into the picture, right? Which is not seen by the, our Indian retailer. They can improve their structure, yes. the way they are carrying on their business, yes, isn't it? Yes. So, where will that point come? Business, 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 and innovations. Innovations. Yes. And uh, business will be facing a lot of competition. Competition. When they are so, business competition. So high competition will be uh, benefiting because, because they have to work on economies of scale. Yes. Right. And the uh, product which will be available in the market will be cheap. Right? So competition will help? So competition also in terms of quality. Low price goods, right? Indian uh, retailer uh, generates 10% GDP. Mm -hmm. Right. So it will help the GDP? Yes. Sir. Or the money will go outside? Yes. Indian retailers are only contributing, but they will not contribute to that much. Indian retailer is uh, contribute 10% mm -hmm. to GDP, but that uh, uh, Walmart is not contribute that much. Sir, so, but uh, the money will be pumped out of India? It's not yes. more partial. Yeah. Then why? Because if we are saying that uh, this. Uh, the high, yeah. Walmart, Walmart. Walmart, Walmart. If it is generating so much of an employment, mm -hmm. so as a result, they are paying more to the uh, local people here. If they are paying more to the local people, they got the spending power. More. If mm -hmm. they, if their spending power is increasing, they will be able to purchase more things, mm -hmm. mostly from the local markets. Mm -hmm. If they are able to purchase more from the local markets, then as a result, uh, they are contributing more to the company, and indirectly, they are contributing also to the GDP. That's one point, but what is the actual motive of Walmart coming into India? Is it about gaining welfare, people welfare? No, sir. No, no, no. It's about generating profit and pumping the money into the US, yes. right? Yes, sir. So the actual actual motive of Walmart coming into India is? Profit. 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 Yeah. It is into hardcore business, right? Exactly. Yeah. It has to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so now let's, let's come to uh, the formats which is uh, there in India. Uh, how is uh, retail uh, categorized or what are the categories of formats in India about retail? I told you uh, something called as organized and unorganized sector, right? So, 
We have something called as organized dating and something unorganized. What is organized dating? Companies like Big Bazaar, companies like Reliance, right? They all listed companies, right? You have you get the proper billing, right? They are proper uh, listed companies, right? You have the billing, you have uh, uh, legal compliances attached to them, right? So they are organized retail. And uh, so, they will come under Lance, they will have Big Bazaar, all the future group. What about un unorganized? The moment box stores, the neighborhood stores, right? The grocery stores. So almost 95% of the retail is uh, been taken care by unorganized retail, right? And only 5 to 7% is taken care by the organized retail. That is why companies like Walmart, companies like Mark and Spencer, companies like Aldi, companies like Kmart, they are more, they want to come into India because India has a huge potential for it, you know, right? And we have the basic infrastructure. We have, uh, what is the age of our country? In terms of uh, population, it is 25, right? How is it calculated? Average. Average of all the people, right? Ages of all the people. Old and young. Old and young. So we have the maximum consumption in our country, right? One of the one of the greatest consumption power in the world, right? We have high spending habits, right? Nowadays, youth are not believing in saving, right? Youth are believing in spending. So these these foreign players, what they want to do is, they want to set up the business in India, come up with the product which is not available, and you know, cash in for that opportunity which is available, right? Because, uh, because in China, it's, uh, the average is around 60, so market is gone, right? It's an old market. It's an old market. So the products will be catering only to the old consumers. But here it's all about young, young youth, right? So fashion, fabs, the fats, these are all, you know, into the picture, coming into the picture. So, they come up with innovative products, right? Uh, yeah. So, what are the formats? This is about organized and unorganized. What, are, what other formats we have? We have the supermarkets, we have the hypermarkets, we have the convenience store, we have the speciality store, right?
So those kind of markets are called hyper markets. But in India, you know, and even in the supermarkets, you will have everything. You will have the groceries. You will have.